Good morning, flock, and welcome into Rao Britter. Now, this is an early access, so this is going to be a first look, first impressions. And yes, I am aware I'm sitting here bundled up like I'm living in a friggin' igloo. I don't know why. I'm cold. Most of the time, I'm wearing my hoodie and my jacket when I'm sitting here. Maybe I'm dying. That's a good, uh, you know... That's good reason for everybody watching to, you know, head on over to a Patreon, buy a sticker, <laughs> support my medical treatment. <laughs> totally kidding, but jokes aside, please head on over to a Patreon, get yourself a sticker, more merch coming, um, t-shirts, mugs, stuff like that. Uh, links to all uh, social media will uh, be in the uh, description. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to this channel, and let's see what we've got here. I've already been through the uh, tutorials. Breast. No, thank you. I can do stuff. Oh. Let's do something. That looks like the Wanderer's Compass. Yeah. I like black and green. It really does. It looks like the Wanderer's Compass. Fitting. All right. So, away we go. I am the older son. Everything you see was supposed to be mine. Beautiful. But after our father died, I decided not to banish my younger brother. And that was a mistake. That little bastard Jesus. stabbed me while I was sleeping. Thanks be to God, a faithful servant saved my life. He knocked my brother down and moved me on to a wagon. They took me to the border, and there, an old Scottish knight healed my wounds. My brother was sure that I could not survive. That is why he made up a story that a merchant who visited us infected me with the plague and for safety, he had me buried. What I an asshole. Weak and have forgotten a lot, but I am alive. I never thought as an older brother, I would have to become a robber to get what is mine back. A robber, a robber baron. Loading. Loading. All right. First things first. Uh, talk to Hamish. I thought you were dead, boy. This bastard scratched you no little, but the wounds are healing on you like on a dog. Did you by chance know William Wallace? No problem. Together with your father, we have been through a lot. My name is Hamish. We're together in the Holy Land on Crusade. If it weren't for Robert's courage, I wouldn't be here. Am I the son of Robert the Bruce? Am I the... 217th Robert the Bruce in the Holy Land. Ah, I'm sure you still don't know a lot of things about your noble father. Maybe someday I will tell you this and that. What should I do I now? I must admit that your brother has set you up quite well. Mm. He sees your lands. Your armed detachment convinced everyone that you were dead and so are allegiance to the Bohemian King. You have a really done nut to crack. Oh, well, this is very, um, AI voice. You will definitely need a solid camp. Maybe even a small town. To reclaim your domain from the hands of this wicked man. Where you can put revenge aside and try to reach for the title of prince. There is such cause in these lands. And so many claimants to the throne. That probably no one would have grasped what was going on anyway. 
let's see. Can I then become a prince and then crush my brother or make him my vassal? Ha <laughs> ha! As if I were talking to Robert. Sure, boy. It's your world. Your adventure. I would like to remind you that at this point you are dead. You can do anything. You'll have to do nothing. However, remember that the medieval world can be cruel, and a sturdy sword is the only trustworthy companion. Understood. Where I should I start? Robert has taken care of your education, and you can read. I can. A monk from the monastery in Tiniac taught me. Very good. You look smart to me. Am I right? I hope Don't so. Don't get me started on this foolishness. I love Robert, but I won't entertain these family dilemmas. I have no intention of replacing your father. I'm simply repaying a debt for saving my life. Good enough. Without the patronage of someone wealthy, there is no way around it. The lands of Silesia we are on, they are now under the rule of King Wenceslas II of Bohemia. Back in Bohemia, huh? I know. You need to go to an abyss with Miesko. Duke of Season. He is a friend of once this was. In the sword of Akarits? We are not his vassal. So we probably will not meet with you. Mm. So... Is it what over? do I have to lose? Let me help you a little more. I'm already old. So I won't be able to handle it myself anyway. Take my lands and use them to reclaim what is yours. Well, congratulations, boy. You have just become a village chief. Maybe one day you will get your rightful place in society. Just like that? There's definitely a catch. No big deal. You will simply sustain me until the end of my days. Fair deal. Here Sounds are the documents enough. confirming your custody of these lands. Now off you go to Petterlin. You should be in that hut in the middle of the clearing. Now he is your servant and will help you start managing the domain. I'm going to take a nap for a while. Ah, one more thing. Take this club. These lands are very dangerous. You say that a uh, sturdy sword is the only thing. Not the mallet. Or the club. Alrighty. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. I cannot read this map to save my life. I am assuming. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming this is me right here. What is this? Can I gather it? I can fist fight my foes. Mud. Mud, I love mud. Okay, so. Get out of here, Shepard. You only spread men around the chamber. <laughs> Voice. I'm not a Shepard. Case, I humbly apologize to you. Get out. I'm your new lord. What's that? Listen to me, you peasant. I am a nobleman, though a poor one. But I certainly don't have any wood. Hamish gave you to me. <laughs> well, yes. I can have guessed that. This imbecile promises people lots of things to get what he wants. What did he want from you? Uh, nothing. He saved my life and gave me his land so that I could get an audience with my Mimiesko, Duke of Siezin. In that case, welcome, my noble lord. <laughs> what did she say? I think you'd be hanging out on the nearest tree in no time. 
Small chance of that. I'm about to cut them all down, I expect. Well, because, for example, Hamish is in a res with his tribute for at least the last three years. Not to mention the force. The tether to the best shop. The tether? You mean the tithe? Is there anything else the noble Khan didn't mention in to me? In addition to the fact that your new lands are full of robber knights, wild animals, and heretics, there is also the fine imposed by the Inquisition. What? Right. Once drunk in Rocklaw, the noble Scotsman pounced on the table and began in a pious voice to preach a sermon on how the freshly minted bishop of Rocklaw Henry had been hassling to the brothel, together with his colleague, Jim Muscada, Bishop of Cracker. Bad luck, that there were Dominicans sitting next to him. When all Peregrine heard this, Hamish was probably only saved from the stake by the fact that when the city guard flew to pick him up, he collapsed on the ground like a log, landing with his muzzle and horse stunned. Well, Sounds like Hamish. maybe the fact that he was a hero from the Holy Land. So what is he at dead and total? Years of tax will be about six thousand prig pennies. Fuck the tax that. will be about two thousand. And you can safely double that because the bishop is famous Ten for his thousand. club of interest. Aren't the interest against the teachings of the church? He cares about the teachings of the church. As much as a fly on a horse's rump, especially when it comes to Hamish, Bishop the benefactor. So we have ten thousand prig pennies, and of course, the Inquisition, which set the punishment as a lion on the Lean. land that Hamish so graciously gave you. So you got fifteen thousand pennies right in your face. You will have to pay them back if you want to move from here. Of course, the amount increases every year with new tributes. Then what am I supposed Peasants, to do now? Craftsmen and burghers are in abundance in our country, as they are drawn to us from overpopulated German lands. Right. Not there they are, because these have been freedoms made their brains all messed up. So some comforts must be provided to them. But it should not be a problem to find new ones. Well, don't break, boy. I'll help you embrace it. Thank you. Well, enough of this. Let's get to work. Start by building a builder's house. We will prepare new buildings. Create a banner and announce to the world that now the rules will be decent. Tools should be in a chest against the wall. When you run out, unfortunately you are left with collecting stuff and exchanging it for tools at the trader. All right, and how did it then even end up that a decent knight like you even Voiced ended up all, with Hamish? I wasn't knighted. Ah, simple. I had my sewing room and this scoundrel pursuing me to invest in his cuisine. Of course, this is my good fortune. Shortly after Hamish arrived in the Holy Land, Aka fell. All fortune gone. So why the hell did they treat him like he's a hero? During the fall of Eke, he covered the retreat of the Knights Templar, who was said to have protected the Holy Grail itself, together with some robbers. My father? Your father. Well, just a beautiful coincidence, because Robert also owes me money. Yeah, how so? Just kidding. <laughs> if you could see your face. Uh, and what if I don't want to build, but fight my way you back? You will have plenty of fight and protect in this land. But if you really want to add your troubles with becoming a raw breeder, the road in the north is a good place to start. You will need a camp to store your loot anyway. Just don't go too far away. These lands, they just swarm with robber knights and all sorts of pagans. Things as they are, you are unlikely to manage them. The land next to the guest house to the north is safe, and this side of the lake, relatively the land too. Next to the guest house to the north is safe. Well, Where is this trader? That would be my good self. All right. So.
bet I can't just click on shit. Alright, well, let's see. So, the land's to the north. And around the lake. Let's explore this a little bit. See where should I stake my claim? I bet you there's some stuff here that I could potentially mine from. Whoa, hello. Hit me again. Yeah, well, this is definitely going to need a uh, bit of, um... All right, got me some uh, monies. And another club. Just springing at mofos out of the weeds, bro. Like, what the hell is the matter with you? All right. So first we must craft a builder's hut. And to do that we need five logs. Okay. Okay, so I ain't gotta do anything else after I Alright. I guess that makes it easier. Other side, and here we go. Crafting, uh, uh, builder side. All right, and I guess that we put there, and where's the entrance to it? Right here. Place that right there. All right, now we must build a banner, and I need a spruce log for that. So, oh, they're all pine. What's the difference between pine and spruce? That's a spruce tree if ever I saw one. I'm gonna go ahead and just gather up as many bees as I can. Elm, elm, of course. Why wouldn't there be elm? How many kinds of freaking logs are there? Oh, let's see, how many do I have? 14 of those. Let's get the same amount just to be safe. I don't want to spend all day digging up trees, but let's make sure we have nice clear areas to build in. I 
actually almost more fun than I can't say it's more fun than medieval. That will be our next video today. Okay, we have a lot. So now we need to build a banner. I kind of got carried away there a little bit, I suppose. Let's place the banner right there. All right, now we need to go back and talk to this guy. It doesn't give us any quest markers. That kind of bugs me. It's really not much. There he is. My stuff is like right there, maybe. <clears throat> so... We'll go ahead and go talk to this guy again to see what he wants us to do next. Good morning, my love. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, whoops. Yeah. I see you. Yeah, there's no mistake in that now, is mm -mm. there? No. Risa has a baby sha. <laughs> God help us. <laughs> I love you. You are a fast you. one. Well, since we already have to build this house, for huh? sure, you don't want right to now? do everything yeah. by yourself. Yeah. So build a warehouse. Well, and a lumberjack and let me know Before I, go up I will get us some peasants can you some of Leilana's because I want to have the right kind of business okay um all the uh, cars good and warmed up we ought to hit up uh well we can get what we need there at Walmart that's fine um yeah I'll go uh, I'll, I'll go with you you give me 40 minutes? 40? Yeah. 38? Okay. Okay, and then... 38? Alright. Alright! I hope you all heard that. I'm getting to work. So, now we have to build a lumberjack and a warehouse. And as far as I can discern, and I do not discern a great deal. Maybe I shouldn't have pointed it directly. screenshot um let's see a lumberjack and what was the other one a warehouse six pine and four spruce I need one more spruce log but we can go ahead and we can place down the lumberjack. Yep, that. Okay, that, that works. Sometimes it's just the height that's off a little bit. All right. So, let's clear out a couple more of these here trees. Oops. 
Now that should give us ample space. Boom, lumberjack. Now we just need to find some more spruce trees. Which if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they're all right here. Go ahead and gather a few more. Gee, scallywag, I'm coming in for you. I don't know what all these resources over here are. Oh, we definitely need it. How do you do that? Bro, before I kill you, teach me your moves. You've got money. You've got health. And you've got a club. Can I sell it? Value is 120. Dog, what have you got? Oh, same thing you've always got. <laughs> but yeah, like I see resources, what I think, what I suspect are resources. So, um, yeah. <laughs> hey, I can pick up and move my uh, banner. That'll be awesome. Warehouse. Craft it. Let's go. Warehouse. Um, uh, three. Three. The warehouse we can put... right next to the builder's hut and the lumberjack what is what, what, what is this if not a lumberjack uh, that's a lumberjack right Oh, I done might have just fouled up. Oh yeah, might have done just fouled up. Um, I I I I I did it. I did it. But maybe I did it out, out of order, which caused a glitch. And now I have to de destroy it and build up a new one. Let me see if I can manage Lumberjack. Can I just like destroy it? Or perhaps can I just go back up and talk to him again and be like we're done building otherwise I'm gonna cloud his ass welcome show me your wares Bandage, tool, stone, ingots, ten leather, club. Hey, I have clubs. You want to buy my clubs? Club. Sell. Club. Sell. How much would you buy that for? Not much. Well, I got money. Money is awesome. No. Damn it. I got to break it. I tried to do things out of order.
But that's okay. Let's see if the axe does any does me any better. Fifteen. No, not really. It's gonna take a minute. I mean, we're making good time, right? We're slowly beating this thing to death. Kind of foolish, though, I have to admit. There's supposed to be a combat update here after the uh, new year, which sounds promising. Look at that, folks. We're already halfway there. All right, I'm gonna destroy this, and then I'm and I'll be back once it's gone. All right, see y'all in a second. All right, guys, and here we go. Good is new. I just did it out of order, which seems dumb to have that kind of a problem. But as I said, this game is still in early access. We're going to run back. We're going to talk to Petterlin really fast. Buddy, you're okay. Mama's just getting ready. Well, probably well probably. maybe we can make something of these lands together. If you need new peasants... Talk to me. I will arrange it. Just remember that more peasants will join you only if you have the right title. Always yeah. keep tools and items needed for the production in the warehouse. What about houses? All right, let's hire some peasants. The first peasants moved into the village. Remember to take care of them. Otherwise, they will leave for another master. And only a trained peasant will bring real value to our village. Let's sick your sources of basic raw material. Let's sick your sources. Build a granary, and a forest is house, and a digger camp. Okay. Well, forest is yes. house. A forester is a knight who makes sure that peasants do not steal your fish from the pond and hunt in your forests. But under these conditions, I think we won't offend anyone if we drive herders to fish and hunt. Yes. They will get clay, sand or bog iron for you. Depends on what resource you will build it on. Well, yes, but yeah. under these conditions. Okay. All right, guys. So there's some uh, errands to run. So this is all I'm going to have time for today. Um... So where's my peasant, huh? Where, where's my pe- uh, Okay. Forgetting all that. But alright, um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, best way to support the channel, as I said previously, head on over to, uh, Patreon and get you a sticker. Until the next one, Scarecrow out.